Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my review. Today I'm going to be doing the full review on the Apple Watch Series 6. This is the Hermes Noir version. I'm going to be saying that name wrong often throughout this video. I was corrected many times in the, um, on the comparison review that I did with the Graphite versus the Space Black. So bear with me as far as the naming of it goes. I will say this, Hermes is around for over 100 years. Uh, they were an artisan. They, they used to make saddles. And um, they've, they're known as a great, very high-end, very high-quality leather product. Uh, the leather straps that they build are all handmade. Um, all of them made in France for the most part. They're actually building uh, different manufacturing centers throughout the world as well. But it's a very high quality leather and I look forward to going over this with you. So just to get into the unboxing, I know I did it in my last review, but I just wanted to get into a little bit more of a thorough unboxing on this one because it's really, really nice packaging. So obviously it comes in a nice hard cardboard box. It's got a texture on it. It's orange with the black... Um, lettering on it and opening up the long box it gives you two smaller boxes with the same quality on the main box and so you have the actual watch and then you have the straps here too of course so i'm going to get into the watch itself first and when you open up the box here uh, you have of course the watch on the left side which i'll get into in a moment uh, but you get your paperwork here you have now just to give you a heads up they do not any longer include the power charger on the standard uh, Apple Watch, the stainless steel, the uh, or the other versions. Uh, this is a special version, so they, they included it. And uh, they also give you, of course, the charging cable. So going into the paperwork and the sport straps, you open it up and it gives you some basic information on the company. It gives you some setup information. Put that aside. And then, of course, you have the strap. And opening up the strap here, you'll see on the bottom that they put the Hermes logo over here. And, of course, the space black matching button for the strap keeper here. So I will put that aside. And getting into the watch, um, as I had mentioned in another review as well, they used to give you a suede or cloth-like finish on this cover. Uh, now they've put a paper on it, so they kind of skimped a little bit. And I'm just going to warn you on any version of the Apple Watch that you get, you want to be very careful when pulling the watch out of this because it is very, very tight. So I got to definitely see it dropping if uh, you're not doing it on something, uh, something soft. So here is the watch. And of course, you get the red circle around the button here. It's space black. I really, really love the finish on this. Uh, the previous version just had in the middle, there was a light for the heart rate monitor. Uh, now they also add that blood oxygen as well. So, uh, and then there's the antennas on the outside here. It's ceramic on the back, stainless steel with a DLC, which is a diamond-like coating or diamond-like carbon on uh, on the case itself, and it's a very nice high polish on it. So that's the watch, and I'll put this aside. And I'm going to open up the straps here. And the straps come in a very nice suede type of a pocket here, and they give you some... Things to grab off here and opening that up, you have even more paperwork. And this goes over information on the company, some basic instructions. So I'll put that aside. And then in the pockets, you have the straps. And I have to tell you, I did the Tag Heuer Monza not too long ago, and before that watch, I was not a big leather person, but I've been finding that when you get really good quality leather, it's very, very comfortable. And you'll notice that the lugs on this have matching sides, so this way it matches the perfect finish that you have on the Apple Watch. Uh, there's good flexibility here on the lug ends. And then you have the leather itself with a nice brown leather on the bottom and black on the top and on this side with the buckle it also matches the high polish finish of the dlc it's made of dlc as well the same exact material also some brown on the bottom here the keeper holds it really nice and um, i'm finding this to be incredibly comfortable so just to put it on the watch so you kind of just have an idea 
So I usually wear my watch on the right side, so I keep the crown on the left for easy access to it. So just a rule of thumb, anytime you're putting a strap on any watch, it's always the buckle on the top at the 12 o'clock side. And then the longer version on the 6 o'clock side. And this is what it looks like. Watch. So no real physical changes on the outside. It's just very slightly thinner. And the main features that you're going to get with the Hermes Noir are basically the leather straps, of course, with the black buckle. And the watch faces I'm going to walk you through. And the main changes on the Series 6 models as a whole are that they're offering different color options, a lower-end SE option, new strap options, and a lot of different colors. On the inside, you're going to get the S6 chip, which offers a 20% faster processor with more efficiency for improved battery life. Uh, Apple rates the battery life on this as 18 hours, which is the same as the, all the previous versions. My experience so far is that I'm finding that that's extremely underrated. Um, I'm pulling off two days off the first charge, and I only expect that to keep getting better. Uh, my experience with the S6 chip so far is I'm finding it to be faster with the boot up and the, you know, just navigating around the watch. Uh, the Sapphire display is 2.5% brighter on the always-on screen, and you particularly notice this uh, mainly in the bright sunlight. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's got the blood oxygen tracking. It's got an integrated altimeter. Uh, watch OS 7 gives a lot of new watch faces, complications, the ability to share them and download them from the App Store. Uh, sleep tracking with data availability on the health application. Uh, you get options for children, including more control over the use of it during the school and at night. Memoji application to use and customize on the, the Apple Watch itself. Uh, location options for family members. Uh, you get more fitness customizations with setting goals and more workout options. Uh, you get cycling routes and maps. Uh, you got this hand washing feature that uh, it gives you a 20 second timer that's supposed to work automatically using motion sensors and microphone. I personally have yet to see that activate, uh, but it also has a hand wash reminder for when you get home. Uh, you have Siri translation, which I think is going to be really helpful for a lot of people. It translates to and from 10 different languages, and that's going to, of course, grow. Uh, you have Siri shortcuts. You have improvements to the hearing health function. And I'm going to go over a lot of these options in some future reviews, but the main stuff that I wanted to go over is the differences on the Hermes version of this watch and the different faces that you're going to get with it. All right, so I'm going to get into the watch faces that go together specifically with this watch. So like I said, this is the Hermes Noir. Uh, that means the space black version. So you're going to get the darker watch faces that go along with this. Um, they're exclusive just to the space black. I believe the stainless steel has different color variations. So going into this particular watch face, it's called the Hermes Noir watch face. So you press down on the screen, you press edit, and it allows you to change the dial type. And then you move to the right and you are able to change this one complication. So the complication choice is either you have a none, stopwatch, the world clock. I typically just keep it on the date. And when I go back into it, the cool thing about this version of the watch face is you notice how the dial moves with the second hand. Going to the next one, you have the classic. So I believe this is one that's come with all of the Hermes watches that had come out with Apple. So you have the ability to change the font on the numbers. And then when you move over to the right, this allows you to change how many numbers are displayed to 1, 4, or 12. And then you move over here, and this gives you the ability to be able to customize the face altogether. A lot of different variations that they have on this. And then once you change that face, you can go over and the same deal with the date. You can either put the date here, the stopwatch, or the world clock, or turn it off. Once again, I keep it on the calendar. And this is how the face looks. One thing that I like about these Hermes faces is they, they, they're more made for a, a, a rectangular screen, almost like a regular rectangular watch. And I move one more time to the left, and this is the last one, the circular. And this is my favorite one. And once again, you have different variations that you could play with with the dial. You can turn it all white. I like this either this blue or the gray version here. I'll keep it on the blue. I move it over to the right. I could change the complication with the calendar, stopwatch, and world clock. Turn it off. 
I keep it on calendar, of course, and then I could change the different complications to all the complications that are available on the other complication screens. And that's the customization you could do on that face. All right, so now I'm just going to go through a couple of apps, uh, you know, just to kind of give you an idea on a couple of the changes that they made on this. So the first one I'm going to go through is the blood oxygen uh, that I talked about earlier, of course. So the last one I checked was at 97%. You have to, of course, keep it on your wrist, and you have to promote no movement. So you press the start button, and it goes through 14 seconds. And then what it's going to do is give you your results. So that's what the blood oxygen does. So I'm at 95% right now. For instance, you have a compass on here. So you could use it for camping or other different types of activity. All right, and this is the watch on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. As you can see here, I only go onto the third hole there and it's perfectly comfortable. I'm very happy with where it's at there. So this way the end piece is not too long, it's not too short. And I have to tell you, I, I've worn this every day for the last few days and I'm really finding it extremely comfortable. Very soft, it doesn't even feel like it's there. And it just looks great especially with the matching buckle. So that's the watch on the wrist with the Hermes Noir strap. All right, so that's my review on the Apple Watch Series 6 with the Hermes Noir. Um, I was not expecting to like it as much as I did, um, and I've been thoroughly impressed. The leather quality is amazing. It's extremely comfortable. It doesn't even feel like it's there. If you're really dead set that you want a Space Black and you want a Series 6, I would definitely strongly encourage you, by all means, pick it up. Uh, if, you, if you can have it shipped, I know it's right now, I think they're out to November. Uh, but if you have a flagship store near you, that's the easiest way you're going to be able to find one. Um, I will be doing more reviews on Watch OS 7 uh, along with the Series 6. So uh, keep an eye out for those. If you like this review, please press like. If you really like it, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of future future reviews. You can also find me on Twitter at Doug FNJ, and you can also find me on watchyouseek.com for excellent discussion on Apple Watch. I'm a moderator on that particular forum uh, and just different brands, different types of watches. It's just a, an excellent website with a lot of great people on it. So I want you everybody to stay safe. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.